What is up folks? Welcome to another musky hunt and uh, isn't this some pretty scenery? Uh, I've been wanting to get on this lake for, uh, for a while now since I've, I've moved up here. Uh, I'm supposed to be an action lake. Heard that there's just not a lot of big ones but I don't know. I, I hope to prove that wrong this evening. Uh, as you can see we got some pretty scary uh, clouds in off to the distance so Hoping just to bag one musky, um, hopefully top water bite. That's the goal for this evening. Top water bite would be so cool. Uh, but yeah, I need to get out fishing. I don't have that much time. Um, hopefully uh, tonight's just a spectacular evening. All right, gonna start off the day with the nine foot surgical strike 2020. And I'm gonna throw a top water bait that I've never caught a musky on. Lee Lures Whopper Popper. Um, Lee's just starting to make these again. Um, it's been, ever since I've met Lee, he hasn't really made this bait, so I'm excited to uh, have a new weapon to the arsenal uh, as a Whopper Popper. It's not as loud as a chopper. It's kind of like a perfect in between a flat tail and a water chopper, but uh, big heavy south winds right now. But as you can see, it's like a perfect eddy behind this uh, island here but um good cabbage in this bay i really just would like to see uh muskies do fun things so hopefully uh today's the day here we go here's a nice one come on eat it eat the chopper Dang it. Dang it. That was actually a nice fish. That was a really cool uh, eat. Come back, come back, come back. Ah, that was pretty dang cool. Let's see, he was really fired up. Of course, I had to wait till the last minute for him to come back out. That was cool. Low 30 inch fish. Um, I'll take that. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Come back for it. He followed it the whole time. Dang, that was actually a pretty nice sized fish for apparently for this body of water. Well, that was fun. Um, yeah, I switched to a chopper. Um, I don't know. In the last weeks, uh, Michael and I kind of had some action on choppers, so. It's just a confidence thing with that a fish came in on that Whopper Popper. Yes, probably. But uh, I just wanted something loud, really loud right now. Um, just because how windy it is. Uh, not, it's obviously not windy right in this spot, but um, yeah, the cool spot. There's cabbage that leads up to shore over there, connected to an island. Um, I'm having a lot of fun right now. Not a single soul on this lake right now. And um, I just had a muskie eat at my feet. I, I think I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> so um, this is cool. All right. Only been out for about 20 minutes. I will take that. Come on. I wish you would have just ate it right away, like a, like a good muskie, but that was cool. I haven't had one wake in like that. And just, oh, that was cool. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> Maybe it's a fish stick evening. That would be uh, kind of cool. See, I've got a section of 174 titanium, or not titanium, single strand wire on the 710. Tactical strike, walk the dog slash glide bait, assault, or glide bait 2020. All right, let's put my chopper away. All right, let's see if I can get this dumb, dumb little muskie to go on this walk the dog. That'd be kind of cool. We've got a weed and there's a muskie following. Jeez. I was just going to leave this area because it was too shallow, so weedy, so many lily pads, didn't look good, 
And then uh, Mr. Muskie comes in. I mean, this looks like a great frog and bass spot, but uh, yeah, but still, cool. All right, another follow. That one uh, obviously was kind of scared of the whole lily pad hanging off of it, but uh, all right. This is kind of thick back here. Well, too thick for the chopper. We're gonna switch up here. Throw on a spinner bait, Boilermaker spinner bait. Why not try this guy out? A little orange, orange and black. It's always good. Nice fish, nice fish. Nice fish. Dang, like a 36, 37 incher came on, came in on the spinner bait. That was kind of crazy. Jeez, they are in this stuff. Okay, two fish in the lily pads. Interesting. <laughs> Definitely a common trend over the last week, week and a half, is uh, getting action on the edge of lily pads. Kind of uh, new for me. Um, but yeah, okay, that was a nice fish. Man, I just need to get one here. Action from three to fish, fish for an hour. Gotta be go time here soon. There you go. Come on. Oh, shoot! I suck at musky fishing. Come back for it. Why do I suck, guys? Come back. Here he goes. Ah, okay. Might have not want to hook that one. He was about 20 inches. Okay. Still, pretty uh, aggressive little guy. <laughs> I was trying to blast weeds off and uh, little musky, uh, he wanted to partake. All right, things are still happening. Four pretty uh, nice encounters with muskies and still zip for me. Here we go. Death pause. Death pause. Come on. Not a big one, but it was a muskie. Just flipped on the walk the dog. Figured it would go through these lily pads a little bit better and a couple casts. Okay, let's get a little uh, fancy here. I'm gonna throw out a big popper. This is my dogfish popper. These fish aren't real big. I um, wonder if they're just kind of scared of, uh, they're just not big enough to uh, eat the musky size stuff. I'll take whatever size. I just want a musky in the boat. But a uh, popper bite would be cool. Oh my gosh, good fish. I was just real, oh, he's got it. He's got it, on the popper, on the popper. That was so cool. You gotta be kidding me. That was, that's a nice fish too. <laughs> on the popper, I was reeling in because I, I was just about to go, go home. <laughs> or not go home, but get close to the boat launch, but on the popper, on the light gear. Sorry about that, buddy. But I did fool you, didn't I? Small top water. How oh, cool. Alrighty. In the bag you go. Whew. Musky. I caught a musky. That was incredible. I was I was reeling it in super fast because I, I had weeds on it. <laughs> and then uh I saw a tail, I look up, there's a tail, and then I paused it and came back and just slurped up the popper. That was cool, never caught a muskie on a popper before. Um, there's the disaster there, but this is a skitter pop, but it's in the really big size, which uh, I don't know what that is, but um, caught plenty of dogfish on this, plenty of pike, and uh, finally a muskie. 
That is awesome. A little sunset musky action. Storms rolling in. Using the old 7-1 Corrado, medium heavy with the 2500 Stratic 20 pound test. Power Pro V2, and uh, that did the job. Downsizing worked. All right, let's get this guy out of the net. Look at that. Nice. Northern Wisconsin Muskie at night or almost at sunset here on the popper, on the spinning rod. How cool, you know? Never caught one on a popper before, but uh, that worked out so nice. What a way to end the day. All right, let's get a bump on her. 34 and a half. 34 and a half inch, uh, beautiful Northern Wisconsin Muskie. Let's get her back. She is ready to roll. Plenty of time in the net there. Gosh, it's crazy how dark these things are. Bye, bye, buddy. Thanks for playing. Love it when a plan comes together. And that was a that was a pretty funny plan. Should probably get back to the boat launch here. Uh, it's getting dark. It's water that I don't know. I know there's a lot of stumps and stuff, and I really just want to play it safe, especially after. A wonderful uh, musky like that. I'm gonna get packed up here and uh, head a little closer to the boat launch so I'm not so spooked out uh, driving driving across the lake. I don't wanna hit a, hit a log, hit a rock. It's not worth it, especially when I just got a musky in the boat. That was awesome. Uh, got to see seven muskies today, I think seven or eight. And um, yeah, got a 34 and a half inch in the boat on the spinning rod. So cool. <laughs> Ah, oh, musky. Shoot, just missed my popper. Mosquitoes are just killing me right now. But uh, one more musky would make it all worth it. Oh, I got him, I got him. That was so cool. That was cool. That was uh, such an awesome eat. <laughs> Light gear musky fishing. How cool is that? He came all the way out of the water for it. There might be something to this. Wow. And he's fighting too. I don't know why my net was all curled up. Get out of there. Come on. Yeah, that's another good one. Just in the corner. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I knew I could get you to bite again. In the bag you go. Cool. Okay, that was worth uh, getting chowed down by mosquitoes. Another nice musky. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna make this quick. So I need to go home. These are bad mosquitoes right now. <laughs> okay, I found the bugs now. Um, big time with this light on. Take a look at a two musky day on a popper. You know, when I woke up this morning, I did not think I would be doing that. But hey, I got a nice sunset, basically nighttime uh, bite on a popper. Uh, yeah, did not see that one coming. You're getting twitchy on me, girl, but um, cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, let's uh, get you back in the water, you angry little musky. That is so awesome. Sweet day, sweet day. Alrighty. You won't be able to see much here, but uh, you will see a pretty healthy musky go back into the water. Bye bye, buddy. Whew. Okay, I bought a bug suit and it's not with me right now. What a stupid. I hate being stupid. Okay, on second thought, I was gonna make a few more casts, but um, I think I need to go. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Did not see this coming. Uh, cool to catch muskies on a new tactic that I've never done before. 
little popper on light gear um, was moving. I mean, I moved seven fish today on uh, you know regular musky gear, top waters, choppers, um, walk the dog, fish stick, and uh, even my spinner bait. And they just weren't biting it. And just a little switch at the end. Uh, that that was the trigger. So that was so cool. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching another musky hunt in the Northwoods. And I will see you on the next video.